Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Candice and I thought we would talk about some zero waste swaps um, that I've made that are my favorite. I think zero waste as we know is a, a loaded term. I don't think anyone could be truly zero waste. We're not set up for it as a society. Oh, there's a cat here. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. That's so sweet. Do you guys want to see her? Oh, she's so cute. Yeah. So anyways, I got distracted. What? I can't pet you. We got work to do. So making these swaps have been super beneficial. Um, I figured I would kind of whittle it down to my favorite 10. There's a couple that I'll probably mention. My number one is going to have to be the Berkey. Since moving off grid, I get water delivered and that's been very helpful to cut down on minimizing like plastic water bottles and single use water bottles and like the you know, one gallon jugs and stuff like that, which we had to do for a little bit before we could get the tanks delivered. Um, along with kind of the beverages, my second favorite is gonna be my clean canteen. Um, I really like it. It's single walled, it's 27 ounces. Um, it has a bamboo top, it's all stainless steel. Um, the only thing, oh, which I'm actually, oh no, my, you have a little silicone ring here on the lid but other than that awesome I don't like hey let's take a break to take a sip of water I want you to drink some water too um I like it being single walled because I hate drinking cold water I don't know why and so anytime I fill this up like if I'm at work and we have the five gallon jugs I'll mix a little hot water in with my cold water because it's um, a refrigerated <laughs> water setup. I've always been this way. I don't know what to tell you. And then along with beverages, we have the a Yeti. I just put a sticker on it, um, but it's the stainless steel Yeti with the coffee lid top. Um, I have had this thing for years and I'm obsessed with it. Um, I don't like that this comes with plastic. I haven't seen any alternative that is metal, which obviously it's not a big deal because it's the type of plastic that will last me a really long time. Um, the other really th cool thing I forgot to mention about the Clean Canteen is um, Clean Canteen is a Northern California brand, so it's actually their um, factory or warehouse is like an hour and a half away from me, which I think is really cool. Um, so kind of semi-local business. Um, next is kind of more, instead of personal drink items, we'll kind of move into kitchen items. I have three different sizers, uh, sizers, <laughs> sizes of the stasher bags. These have been amazing when I'm taking lunch to work, prepping food, you know, slicing up veg and stuff and popping it in here and put it in the ice chest um, when I'm going camping or even, you know, throwing it in the refrigerator. This one's awesome for like frozen, like bananas that you have that are ripe, but you don't really want to use them right now. Just slice them up, peel them, toss them in here and toss this in the freezer. It works perfect for that. Um, 10 of these and the stasher bags and they last a really long time. Next kind of food item is to go wear. I have, I think two or three of these. I keep one in my car and um, usually one in my backpack and it comes with bamboo utensils and it has, you know, it's Velcroed. It's really a thick material has a little carabiner on it. So if you wanted to attach it to anything, um, but inside you have bamboo chopsticks you have a bamboo spoon, bamboo fork, sorry, cat hit the camera, and a bamboo knife. So it comes with all of these utensils. 
And what's great is, you know, bamboo is a very renewable resource and it's fully biodegradable when they do kind of get gross. You can just buy a replacement set and, you know, I take, when I went on my camping trip, that's, pretty, that's all the utensils that I pretty much use the entire time. So they rinse off pretty easily too. Um, my next kitchen item is I've gotten a couple of sets of these, but it's um, wax wrap instead of using like saran wrap or cling wrap. It's, except this one, I had a really hard time finding um, vegan wax wraps. T most of them are like beeswax because of course, you know, beeswax is more sustainable than um, beeswax is more sustainable than like a paraffin wax or something like that. Um, and so this is made from 100% cotton, 100% candelilla wax. There's a jojoba oil, which is cold pressed and pine resin used in here. And it's awesome. It was, I bought it at a local reuse, like a refill store that I go to refill on Dr. Bronner's and like laundry soap and all of that stuff. So I'll just go there. Um, and I saw that they had that there, so we grabbed it. Um, I guess we'll kind of transition to bathroom items because those are the, the kitchen and the bathroom are the places that really have a lot of waste that's produced. Um, who gives a crap? I have their toilet paper and we also use their paper towels. Um, I did a ton of research before we moved off grid to see what the best options would be for biodegradable um, paper and toilet paper so we could compost everything. Um, and who gives a crap is amazing. It's made from bamboo, so it's also a renewable resource. And all of the wrapper is paper. It comes in a cardboard box, a huge box, it's like this big. Um, one box usually lasts us about six to nine months. Um, uh, my second bathroom item is going to be the leaf razor. I transitioned to plastic free razors or metal razors a couple of years ago. Um, and I really like it. I probably cut myself as much as I used to. I'm just... I'm really impatient when it comes to um, um, a set of, you know, three razors and you just break them up and toss them in your razor and depending on how often you um, shave and it lasts for a really long time. My next bathroom item is going to be plain. I use their shampoo their conditioner and then I also have the hand sanitizer and these come these come with oh no <laughs> so these come with little pump tubes on your first order and it's great they are in fully reusable aluminum jugs um, same thing with this I'm since it's my on my first order I asked for a spray and then I have also little travel sizes that I keep in my backpack in my car and just refill it out of this big guy. The great thing about Plain is is when you are almost done you'll reorder and ask for a box to ship everything back in and when you get your new order you'll just put this in the box and send it right back to them. So it's and it's a um, they're amazing products. Um, I use I've been using these for like three years. I started transitioning my hair before we moved off grid because I just wanted to test it out and see what I liked. Um, but I really love the shampoo. I use the Roseberry Vanilla Mint scent. Same thing with the conditioner. Um, and the conditioner I use sparingly. Um, because I do have fine hair, it tends to get weighed down a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, 
and the hand sanitizer sanitizer is peppermint. It smells great. So my last item is kind of weird. So go, it's a soil blocker. So you probably have seen this if you watched like my seed starting videos or um, when we were doing our gardening videos last year. So basically you pack soil into the bottom of this and it has a little, um, I guess a nipple on the inside. I don't, yeah, you can kind of see it that puts a little indent in the top of the block. And then you can just pop your seed in there when you're starting seeds. Um, I like that because I can just use my trays to put my soil in there and I don't have to use, um, the plastic seed starting trays. Um, so, and those can be pretty expensive and it's also plastic. So it's a petroleum based product and there's a lot more resources going into getting those and they will only last you, you know, maybe one or two years. Whereas this is fully metal and hopefully it'll last me a really long time. Um, so those are my 10 favorite low waste items that I've integrated into, I guess, my lifestyle and my, my daily use. Um, and you know, a couple of other suggestions that I do, um, to kind of keep down on my waste. The, when I go grocery shopping, I buy local organic produce. If I, if I can, I put everything in my shopping cart because I'm going to rinse it when I get home anyway. So I don't use plastic bags. If I have to buy something that's in a bag or that I need to bag, like at our local, um, sell arugula and other greens in bulk. So what I'll do is I'll take a brown paper bag and just fill those up with those greens, use them, and then either reuse that bag or after I've reused it a couple of times or if it's torn, I'll just go ahead and compost it because it's just a brown paper bag. Um, and then also at the grocery store, I take my mason jars, not so much within the last year because of COVID, they've kind of cracked down on certain things that I can refill but, um, so like any rice, beans, stuff like that, that are in the pull down and the pull down containers, I'll use, you know, refill my mason jars and stuff like that, which is great that they have that option there for us. They also do like my olive oil, any vinegars will do, um, like apple cider vinegar, rice wine vinegar. And they also have like peanut butter and stuff in bulk that you can crush there and just refill it into your mason jars. I also, um, they have teas that will do in the mason jar. Um, so yeah, if you have a local store that allows you to bring in your mason jars, just, you know, throw your tear weight on your jar and, you know, just write your number down. I have wax pencils that I use just to write on the lid or on the jar just make sure I take those with me. And then of course our <laughs> reusable bags. Um, but what's great about the grocery store I shop at is they also have cardboard boxes sitting in the front. So you can just pick a box and throw all your produce and, um, everything that you, you know, all your Mason jars and your produce and throw all of that stuff in a cardboard box and, you know, take that with you and reuse it a bazillion times over and over again. Um, so yeah, that's, those are my favorite zero waste swaps and some honorable mentions. I hope you guys, um, if you liked any of these products, of course, use what you have. Don't feel like you need to go rush out and buy new stuff. Um, of course, as being low waste, it's use what you have now and when it goes time to replace it. Um, but you could always, you know, integrate your food wraps and your stasher bags and you know who gives a crap and stuff like that so reuse whatever you have right now that you're currently using and then just replace it as need be um if you have any questions let me know i'll also link um everything i don't know if i'll be able to find but i'll look for the food bags um i'll try to link everything down below and thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.